Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for watching another episode. As always, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your support. Today, what are we going to do? A bit of vocabulary, 20 typical Flemish words, all right? So Flemish is Dutch, but it's like the Belgian Dutch. It's spoken in Flanders, which is the northern part of Belgium. These words um, you'll only hear in Flanders, not as much in the Netherlands, all right? But before we do that, remember to give the like, subscribe to the channel if you want more content, and let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not. All right, so the first one, hosting, happen. Hosting in 2017 or 2018 was actually chosen as the favorite Flemish word of the Flemish people, so the Dutch-speaking Belgian people. And hosting, happen means to fancy, to feel like, to have a craving for. For instance, ik heb hosting in een lekker dessert. That means I fancy a tasty or a delicious dessert. Hoosting, you hear it all the time. We go to the next one, and the next one is zeveren. Zeveren is basically to talk nonsense. If somebody says to you, jij zevert, or je bent aan het zeveren, that means you're talking nonsense. And the same basically also uh, counts for zwanzen. Zwanzen is also to talk nonsense. Je zevert, je zwanst, that means you're saying foolish things, uh, you're talking nonsense, what you're saying is not truthful. All right, then we go to the next one. And brossen is more like a jargon for students, university. Uh, why? Because it basically means to skip class, to skip school. Uh, ben je naar de universiteit geweest? Nee, ik heb gebrost. That means I have skipped class, I have skipped school. We go to the next one. The next one is not really a noun, but we use it all the time. Amai is basically an expression of surprise or being impressed. Somebody says something to you, you're surprised, you're impressed. Then you'll say, am I? The next one is bomma, and that would be your grandmother. And then we have another one, which is also like bompa, that would be your grandfather. Now, this one is also quite typical for Flanders. Uh, so many grandchildren call their grandparents bomma and bompa. The next one is kot. Now, kot is again, we go to university. Um, it's basically a student room or a student flat. So, ik zit op kot. Um, that means I'm in a student room or I'm in a student flat. Um, so yeah, kot, very useful. And you hear it all the time in, in Flanders, especially uh, with the students at university. And then we have confiture. Confiture is, mar is marmalade, um, very typical Flemish word also. In the Netherlands, you will hear jam. Uh, we say confiture. The next one is the facteur. The facteur, this one is a little bit more uh, slang. Uh, we do say the postbode, which is actually the mailman. But if you speak a little bit slang uh, or if you speak dialect with people, Flemish people, most of the time they will call the mailman the facteur. For the next one, this is also true. Uh, the firefighter, we would say the pompier or the pompiers. But again, um, that is more uh, dialect, right? Not really official language, but you hear it all the time. Um, and then another one, uh, which is called a beenhauer. Now, if you would translate it literally, that would be your bone chopper. Bone chopper, that is the butcher, right? In the Netherlands, you will hear slager. In Belgium also, but in most of the regions, we also say beenhauer for butcher. So now uh, we get to Alé. So in Belgium, we have three official languages. In the north, we speak Dutch. Well, Belgian Dutch, we call it Flemish. Um, and in the south, there's French. And then in the east, there's a small community of people who also speak uh, German. So these are the three official languages um, of our country. And Flemish is also quite influenced uh, by French. So Alé is coming straight from French. And it basically means... Come on, uh, let's go. And then uh, when somebody's saying something to you and you're impressed or you're not really 100% sure whether it's true uh, what that person is saying, then you'll say Aleon, uh, which is basically for real. Okay, we go to the next one. This one again is dialect. Uh, dialect and it means een fonke leggen. Now, een fonke leggen, Belgium, we're famous for our beer uh, and also beer with, you know, let's say high alcohol percentages. So... 
a phone collagen is basically to eat something fatty or hearty uh, to better deal with alcoholic drinks later on especially if you drink a beer with a high alcohol percentage then the best thing to do is a phone collagen right we go to the next one and that's a falling or a snot falling a snot falling is basically a cold right um, the correct dutch word is verkoudheid however in flanders many people when they have a cold they will say ik heb een valling ik heb een snot falling okay the next one is uh, ambetant uh, you hear it all the time uh, ambetant is basically uh, annoying right again it's uh, probably coming from from french Um, and it means annoying so when we're not impressed with something or when something is dragging on and we kind of want to say that it's bothering us then we'll say das ambetant we go to the next one and the next one is wablif now wablif is somebody says something to you but you're not really understanding 100% what they're saying you would say i beg your pardon you would say wablif uh, if you haven't understood what was said And then uh, we get to uh, the word pinkers. Pinkers is uh, yeah, well, a pretty uh, Flemish uh, word, very Flemish, I'd say. I don't think in the Netherlands it's used at all. Pinkers is basically the indicator lights of a car. So the richtings on uh, we say pinkers, the indicator lights of your car. Then we go to the next one, and the next one is bangeluk. Bangeluk is uh, awesome. Although bang means afraid, When we say something is bangeluk, it means it's awesome, it's crazy, it's insane. Um, bangeluk, you hear it quite a bit also. And then we go to the next one. The next one is bankcontact. Bankcontact uh, would be your debit card. Okay, in the Netherlands they will use pin and pin pass. In Belgium that would be uh, bankcontact. Okay, if you go into a shop and you wanna, they will ask you if you want to pay with debit card. They will say, will you met bankcontact uh, betalen? All right, so that would be your debit card and then the last one the last one is stufen stufen is also very flemish not really uh, part of our character but it's a very flemish word and stufen means to brag okay so when somebody is bragging you can say you bent on it stufen um, you're bragging uh, too much all right so this is also a very typical uh, flemish word so these were the 20 typical uh, flemish uh, words uh, i hope they're useful for you i hope when you go to flanders and um, basically when people use these words now you know what they mean uh, when you'll use them in the netherlands it could be that people understand them because you know we know the differences between uh, belgian dutch and then the dutch which is spoken in the netherlands but it could also be that people don't really know what you're talking about i want to thank you again uh, for watching um, i hope it was useful for you remember to give the like subscribe to the channel if you want more content and let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not i wish you a great rest of the day and stay tuned for another episode of dutch round one ciao